Another year of Madden, another year of competitive players thinking it's beneath themselves to hop in practice mode for five minutes and figure something out. In today's video, we're going to go over the RPO read wheel flat glitch. What is up, guys? Zane from the Zane Madden YouTube channel, and I'm going to pull absolutely positively no punches today. I get sick and tired of every single year when this game comes out, us dealing with rule sets dictated by players that really don't spend any time in the lab. You know, every single time I get my match coverage bombed by a glitchy motion that causes guys to swap off, do I head to Twitter and head to the competitive circuit and say, oh, well, hey, this motion snap needs to be banned? No, that would sound inherently non-competitive. You know, it's not in my nature to be like, oh man, that's gotta go, right? My question is, why is it that we, every single time, have a man coverage-based meta, more specifically, a heavy blitzing Man coverage based meta do we end up with ea constantly banning rpo style plays in competitive madden and the one that we're going to talk about today i'm sure you guys have heard about it obviously over the last probably week or so is the gun deuce close rpo read flat wheel now if you didn't hear in the most recent double elim ladder for the ultimate thanksgiving tournament ea banned basically throwing the ball on rpo plays but the rule that they tried to put out completely whiffed and took a blowtorch to a number of completely legal and unbroken plays as it pertained rpos in general and the rule basically states you can't throw the ball on an rpo if somebody was in motion ea sports it's in the game And that included auto motion plays. So we also might be talking about some of those orbit bubble screens or some of the auto motion two back screens out of the Arizona book. Or if you throw a, a looky slant on a run RPO where maybe you have a fullback and you motion him for the purpose of run blocking, that would be considered illegal. But they thought for some reason that this RPO read flat wheel play, they could ban it by just saying, you can't throw on any play in which a player is motioned and the play has RPO in the title. So uh, here we are yet again. I'm gonna go ahead and teach the pro circuit that has a small group of players that were complaining about this because after you watch this video, you're gonna wish you didn't because it's basically free negative yardage, sacks, interceptions, penalties, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm also gonna teach EA who very clearly has absolutely positively no clue how to rule on their competitive circuit. Uh, it just gets worse and worse every year. It, it's crazy. Let's get into it. And for those of you that are going to be really angry, I appreciate the uh, amplification of this video in the algorithm. You keep angry posting. It really helps. I, I seriously mean it, it does. But let's get into it. What is the reason this play is so good? Well, pretty much 100% of the players that were complaining about it ran some sort of cover zero press, which is the primary meta this year. So let me go ahead and explain it to you. When you call a cover zero blitz and you press, whether it be Overstorm Brave, Spinner, Mid Blitz, whatever it is, you're gonna end up on an RPO play with two players that are gonna have these icons over their head. One is the R icon or the read key. This is the player that is the player being read on the read option, the run portion of this play. So I would basically read the R icon and if he crashes down, I would pull with the quarterback and have the option to run with him or pass hence the name run pass option. Since the defense wants to play this player so close to the edge of the line of scrimmage, he becomes the player that is being read. Now hidden behind him, and I'm gonna move him just a little bit, and you saw right there is the P icon. This is the pass key. Some players call it the pitch key, which you would see a P icon for triple option style runs where you can pitch to a fullback. This player is also being read as a conflict defender. This is what RPOs are all about. And when you want to run a cover zero blitz in which you have everybody up tight, you have these players that have one-on-one -on -one responsibility with a receiver and they have a run fit or a responsibility to the run portion of these RPOs. And when these players are down in the box, you can put them in conflict. So what has ended up happening is all these players that want to run cover zero, when they face this play, they give up a quick throw off the line to the B receiver on the post portion of this play. And as a result, a lot of players would then say, well, I did lab it. 
and they said, zone doesn't stop it either. So I'll show you cover two all mugged up and pressed and you know, we go and we run it. And again, it's the same drill, right? Those players being so tight to the line of scrimmage causes them to play a specific way. Now, I will admit it's a little funky that you can roll up and press coverage and pass commit and the pass icon won't play his responsibility. You can actually still pretty much throw this ball off the line. Now, he did a better job. He didn't run commit. So I would still argue maybe lab the coverage shell that you're calling and put it a little bit more work on that front. I'm not denying that it doesn't need a little bit of coding uh, retuning going forward, but I'm about to show you just how easy this is to stop. So when you are facing this RPO play, literally all you have to do is make sure that if you have a R or a P icon in tight near the line, you just move them a couple steps. And the easiest way to do this, if we're being totally honest, is to set your defense to auto alignment base align. And then from there, because it is an option play, set your option to conservative. That's gonna allow you to have your defensive end or outside linebacker in a three, four base defense, always key on the quarterback to give you those free hits if they decide to throw. So let's go ahead now and show you guys exactly how easy this is. So I'm gonna call that same cover two for instance, and we are on baseline. I'm gonna press on defense. So we've got this play, we're gonna press on defense. And then what we're gonna do is if you pull up the play art here, you can see that this P icon is still in the play. He is still in conflict. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we just move him an inch. Just move him just a little bit, maybe a step, that's it. Now, when you pull up the icon again, the P icon goes to the safety. In Madden, a P icon on a safety will never play the run. It's a safety. They have to have that last line of defense in most cases. So when we actually go to run this now, what you were going to see is absolutely nobody commits the run. And if we go to run with the quarterback, our conservative option plays the quarterback and he's tackled in the backfield. So let's get this straight. All you have to do is base align your defense, move your corner one step, an option quarterback and this play is completely shut down this is a play that on the competitive level was completely banned completely banned well to be honest they tried to completely ban it but the rule set that they put sucked and didn't even ban this so let's get that straight again they tried to ban this play with verbiage of a rule failed and actually banned a lot of other plays that weren't broken in the first place meanwhile you take a look at this this post route, obviously we have a user on this play. We would likely use the right linebacker. You would just guard that post. And if they throw the ball even now, you see that number 77 is two yards downfield. That is an illegal forward pass. They would get called for a penalty. So you only have to cover for about eh, a third of a second on this play. That's what she said. Cover two is not the best defense to call. I just wanted to show that your guy wouldn't run commit. That was about match. You can turn on match, you can call whatever you want. It's on baseline, RPO read, flat wheel. Let's go ahead and on defense, pinch. And we're going to take that slot corner. If there is one on the running back side, move him out. One step, that's it. And you can pass commit if you want to. Let's take a look from the offensive lens. The safety is the P icon. Let's try it out. Ball snapped, we drop back under this. Done, nothing open, absolutely nothing open. If you're worried about them dumping off that flat, and this is the reason that they put this rule in, uh, whoever gave the feedback to EA that this was a glitch, they faced somebody who was doing this. And that's what led EA to this lazy rule set that said, oh, well, hey, let's just ban throwing the ball if the player's motioned on an RPO, that'll help. If you're really that worried about it, all you have to do is shade your coverage down. You're still gonna get match on the wheel, match on the post, a hard flat for that motion player if they want to throw and you have to cover for literally a half second so the ball is snapped you're right here everything's covered and they're taking a hit after a half second to a second it's that simple 
It is that simple. So yeah, yeah, I'm calling on the competitive community. I'm again, not the entire competitive community, but those of you that are out there in the ears of EA, and you know the power that you have, quit being lazy, quit being lazy. We have to deal with the laziest defensive meta of all time with all these blitzes and mugging the gaps and the offensive lineman logic being terrible. And we don't see any of that being banned, nor do we call for it to be banned. Yet the first time something beats that meta for so many of these players, they immediately turn and run to the staff at EA on the MC team, whoever their connections are, give them an incomplete story and get things banned. I'm sorry. That's lazy. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck. Those of you that are pro players that are bitching about this also get in the lab and good luck or whatever luck you get.